Hi, my name is Daniel Segura, an ITDE doctoral student at Nova Southeastern University. This is a brief informational video on how to capture the perfect picture utilizing the depth of field technique. Many photographers take pictures, take videos, but they fail to acquire that professional look because they do not utilize the depth of field technique. Now, it's pretty simple. The depth of field is the focus of a shot that appears to be in focus at a distance in front of and beyond the subject. The depth of field is the range of distance of the shot that appears apparently sharp. A professional depth of field shows everything in focus by placing the camera within 5 to 10 feet from the image. This allows the image to be clear with a blurry background on the object that you want the audience to focus on. Utilizing the aperture from the camera and the focus and distance produces the depth of field having the f-stop number resulting in a shallower depth of field. The depth of field is important because if you're in a field of producing film or photos, you want to be able to get a clear image of what you want the audience to pay attention on. Utilizing the correct applications on a camera a photographer can manually set the depth of field without relying on the automatic application. The depth of field can be utilized in any form of digital media from still photos or motion pictures to give that professional look to that image. When adjusting your shot and the object begins to get blurry, this is called the circle of confusion, which is considered to be outside the depth of field. The depth of field changes from sharp to unclear in a gradual transition. By having everything in the front or back of the object loses its sharpness. This allows the depth of field to set a maximum value to the circle of confusion. The depth of field with a low f-stop number produces a shallower depth of field shot. Here are some examples. In this example, you have the aperture, which is the f-stop number at 4, with an 18 millimeter lens. Now, that same image at the same distance, I set my lens to 55 millimeters with an f-stop of 5.6. At this precise second, you can clearly see that there is a blurrier background. But as I increase the f-stop number, the background begins to get a little bit clear. Here's another example. Here is a picture five feet away from the object with an f-stop number of 36 with a 55 millimeter lens. Here you can clearly see the ball with the background. Now, if I take that same image and I set the f-stop number to a 5.6, you can clearly see that there's a blurrier background giving more focus to that object. In summary, a stiller motion picture product depends on the quality that is produced. So if you're trying to practice the depth of field technique, it is highly important that you understand the distance that you stand from either a five to 10 feet from the object that you're actually shooting and pay close attention to that aperture. So if you stand at a five foot distance and you start to decrease that aperture number, the product appears to be more clear with a blur blurrier background. For thank you for your time enjoying this video and please continue practicing that depth of field technique for those professional images. Thank you.